Blue skies, rolling green fields. This doesn't look like your average army base, but it is in fact a crucial corner of UK defence. I've come to Melton Mowbray, home of the Defence Animal Training Regiment, to meet the personnel and animals that are based here. Melton Mowbray might be famous for its pork pies, but for the local community, the Defence Animal Training Regiment holds an important place in the makeup of this agricultural town. But what exactly goes on here? Well, at the Defence Animal Training Regiment, what we're responsible for is procuring all the military working animals that come into service, as well as training the animals uh, and training the people who look after, care and handle those animals to provide the capability that military working animals provide for defence. It is a very, very diverse regiment. We have three specific squadrons, all with very, very different outputs. Our workforce is very mixed. We have uh, a number of Royal Army Vent Recall soldiers, but also RAF police and uh, soldiers from London District, from the King's Troop, RHA, and the Household Cavalry Mounted Regiment, as well as nearly 100 civil servants that provide the care for the military working animals and the support for us to carry out our functions. DATR is a busy environment. Alongside humans undergoing training, the military's animals pass through the base as they progress into service, be they horses, or like Rambo here, working dogs. He's a Belgian Shepherd who's coming to the end of his 13 weeks of training to become a protection dog. My time with him came with a warning, don't get too close, and remember, unlike other types of working dogs, Rambo's role is aggressive. Working dogs like those at DATR play a vital role in defence. Two summers ago, as Afghanistan fell to the Taliban, the British military deployed in quick time to get UK nationals and eligible Afghans out of Kabul. Central to providing security in that dangerous task, British Army working dogs that learned their skills here at Melton Mowbray. But all these animals require round-the-clock attention, and occasionally that includes medical care too. Step forward, the on-site veterinarian team, led by Major Harriet Telfer. Today's patient is household cavalry horse Luxembourg. But don't worry, he's not sick. He's just in for a six monthly dental checkup, something all of us can relate to. Horses' teeth continuously grow throughout their lifetime, so it's really important that we stay on top of making sure that their mouths are comfortable. Um, so, in order to look after their teeth, they are rasped annually if their teeth are in good condition or more regularly if it needs that. He's had a little bit of sedation, which just helps him feel a little bit sleepier, a little bit more relaxed with the procedure. Um, we then put a dental gag on him, which allows us to open his mouth and hold it open so that we can safely conduct the treatment. Um, and the vet techs have then used mechanical rasps just to take the sharp points off his teeth um, to make sure that he doesn't end up with ulceration or discomfort. But next door, Kina, another Belgian shepherd, is a little under the weather. She's recovering from an injury, and so the hydrotherapy pool provides welcome relief. They're just incredible, and it's incredible to be able to get this close. So used to seeing them on the TV, but coming here and literally stroking their cheeks, magic. The forge is another location abuzz with activity. All of the army's horses pass through DATR and frequently return. When they do, they need shoes, and it's soldiers like Gunnar Ben O'Harolan who are charged with keeping all the horses shod. He's currently in training, something else that goes on here, the tuition of army farriers. So Ben is our uh, junior apprentice. Uh, he started 13 weeks ago, nearly, well, he's at the end of his 13th week. Um, he is, so to become an apprentice, he has to do a 16-week course, which he's on at the moment. Um, he passes the, the out test in a few weeks and then he's loaded up on the um, first year apprentice. So basically he's, he's now working towards his apprenticeship um, and he's doing very well. He's, he's picking up really quick. But as pleasant as it all looks, it is hard work. Unlike other military assets, horses and dogs can't be put away whenever they're not being used. They're animals who need constant attention and they're animals that can be called upon often at short notice, to perform whatever element of defence provision they are, four-legged, experts in. James Wharton, Forces News, Melton Mowbray. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.